Hello, this is Chris Harris in Seoul, South Korea. I'm at the International Neuromodulation Society World Conference. I'm jet lagged, I'm tired, I'm nervous because I'm about to uh, give a talk uh, for a uh, large room full of uh, medical doctors. They got me down as a medical doctor, which isn't right, and that's the first thing I'm going to have to inform them about. I was going to just run through my um, my talk. It's supposed to be an eight-minute talk um, right now uh, to uh, to make sure I'm not going to go over time. So uh, here it goes. Um, good afternoon. My name is Christopher Harris. I'm not a medical doctor, as the program states. Um, I'm a second-year PhD student. So is my co-author. Uh, we both do neuroscience. I do uh, invertebrate electrophysiology, and uh, Kilarski does uh, Parkinson's genetics. Now. This project I'm presenting here is not related to um, either of our PhDs, however. Um, this is something we've done on our free time. We felt that the extremely rapid progress and, and uh, enormous potential, really, of uh, neuromodulation uh, warranted better and more public participation. Um, as you may know, lack of public participation is a problem throughout science. Um, many scientists and uh, researchers feel um, hesitant. Uh, to engage in uh, simplification and dramatization of uh, complex scientific issues. They uh, don't want to speculate uh, on future research findings, uh, future research applications and the impact, the potential impact of those applications, but uh, that seems to be uh, necessary, unfortunately, if you want to do proper public participation. You also have to listen and make use of uh, new technologies like web technologies, and this, studies have found, is not being done. Uh, however, there is benefit to public participation, obviously. Um, <clears throat> um, to start with, many studies have found that um, lack of control, lack of a uh, feeling of involvement in the scientific process is uh, a factor in uh, public opinion about science. And uh, ge generally, democratically, if you believe in um, an open society, a democratic society, then uh, you, you believe that a uh, broad consensus base, a uh, 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 um, decision-making process that involves everyone is uh, better than a limited one. Um, anyway, we wanted to make a website that gave people the opportunity to discuss uh, one specific aspect of um, a potential um, development in neuromodulation technology that we felt was important. So, um, the technology we have been focusing on is uh, conditional rewarding brain stimulation. Conditional rewarding brain stimulation. Uh, this is a technology, uh, this is a procedure, rather, a, a method uh, that's um, been used to uh, motivate rats to um, engage in um, physical exercise and uh, to solve problems. Um, rats are stimulated uh, with electrodes placed in their um, reward system whenever they do something the researcher wants them to do. So you can make an animal um, lift weights, for instance. Now, we have been speculating and um, are interested to hear uh, whether this could be useful in human patients, whether you could stimulate, say, a patient to, um, or motivate a patient, rather, to um, engage in physical exercise if uh, he or she suffers from obesity, or uh, stimulate learning even. Um, and so we have created a web resource to uh, develop this idea uh, in the context of public participation. The site includes a lot of information that's useful for people who uh, want to um, participate effectively in the discussion. Um, we have uh, videos as well. Uh, this uh, site and video contains information about deep brain stimulation, uh, monoamine neuroscience, the reward system, rewarding brain stimulation, uh, human applications, potential human applications, ethics, frequent ask questions, and so on. There's a sidebar to the website that uh, contains uh, frequently updated information, including a uh, poll um, that currently has. Um, with 71 respondents, has uh, 2010 and 2015 in leading first place for when eye plants went into clinical trials, clinical trials uh, closely followed by never. And uh, the site receives about 866. Uh, the site receives um, around 800 visits uh, in a two-month period. Uh, the videos receive about 6,000 visits, uh, views in the same period, 
and uh, it should be noted that uh, the large majority of those video views are for people simply searching for the term dopamine on YouTube or Google and uh, ending up on one of our videos. But this project is not about people watching videos or coming to our site, it is about particip people participating in the discussion and that's happened too, I'm glad to say. The internet is a um, excellent tool for uh, public discussion. Uh, comments made on the site, on YouTube, on uh, external blogs, on um, Facebook, etc. are public, which means that everyone can read them, people can respond to them individually and so on. And um, there's been there's been a lot of debate, there's been a lot of uh, discussion um, in this next um, slide here. Uh, we've tallied the uh, comments that re relate directly to the plant and um, as you can see there's a lot of positive comments but also a lot of comments about potential, specific potential problems and uh, theoretical, um, ethical, uh, social, practical uh, problems that might come up if iPods were to be developed. And uh, several of these have been discussed in detail on the forum and we've come up with policy guidelines that are available on the ethics section. Uh, if these were to be, to be developed, people would uh, should, should absolutely take a look at these. And um, But uh, people have made other comments as well. People have uh, contributed um, translations of the front page, people have been asking questions about dopamine in general and uh, so on. I should mention the Google Alerts tool. Um, we've been able to search for the term um, iPlants, which is our name for uh, conditional rewarding brain stimulation, deep brain stimulation implants in humans, and uh, find blogs that um, blogs and other posts that, that discuss this uh, technology and discuss the site and the project and uh, link to them on our site and follow their discussions and uh, take part in their discussions and so on. And um, so finally, future directions, we want uh, better information on the site. If any of you had any technical difficulties that you think should be uh, addressed, uh, please do so. You can, you can uh, add comments directly at the bottom of the site. You don't need to sign in or anything. Or, uh, or go to the forum. Uh, we want a broader use participation. Uh, it's been great, the kind of discussion we've seen, but we would like to have a, um, a wider range of topics covered, not just risk. And uh, video is something we need to explore more because it's been so successful. Um, transparency is important. We need an about page, a disclaimer. People need to uh, know what we're about. and. Um, feel sure that we're not a uh, commercial entity of some sort. And um, finally, partnerships. If anyone is interested in um, this kind of science communication, uh, science communication that focuses more on public participation than uh, public education, uh, or if you're just interested in um, conditional rewarding brain stimulation as a treatment options for uh, people, then uh, talk to us. Thank you.